Southeast Somerset has been a mining district for something like 2,000 years. The Romans mined lead from the Mendip Hills, and lead was still being won in the 19th century. Coal was dug around Radstock and Midsummer Norton in the 14th century. The Industrial Revolution turned the district into a predominantly coal mining area. The Somerset Coal Canal had been built before 1800, so barges could carry coal right into the Thames Valley. The railway didn't take over until a hundred years later. During the peak period, from the middle of the 19th century till just after the First World War, there were 10 to 11,000 Somerset miners producing up to one and a quarter million tons of coal a year. From the time of the general strike on, the number of pits and of men working in them dwindled. By the time the coal board took over, there were about 3,000 men producing half a million tons of coal a year from 12 pits. Already, the coal field was disappearing into its rural background. This was helped by the local habit, then unusual, of planting trees on pit heaps, and a general determination to keep a balance between pit village and open space, between industry and the countryside. But the men who lived around Norton Radstock were still ex-miners and the sons of miners, and the area was far from depressed. During the last 15 years, in fact, this has quietly become something of a boom area. It is not designated as such by government and county officials. The local people have pulled themselves up by their own bootstraps. Our Urban District Council is a hive of activity. Its chairman is a mining employee. I shall open expression of points of view, gentlemen. Can we first agree the principle uh, of the letting, the friends of the lonely? We know the good work they do. Um, the uh, Norton Radstock Savings Group, that's also something extremely worthwhile. If I said different, the vice chairman would uh, very hurriedly contradict me, I'm sure. But the council is determined that this shall be the focal point of northeast Somerset. Look at the shopping centre of Midsummer Norton. Not the work of an outside development corporation, but the inspiration of the shopkeepers themselves. Look at the Co-op Society's new store at Radstock. There's more going on over the way. Look at the houses being built. These are private enterprise houses. But we pride ourselves that the council's own building is better than a lot you see. Well, these last few years have seen more building than anybody around here remembers. New secondary modern schools for both communities. Other schools too. And a new youth club. And a brand new technical college. Which brings up another important thing, new industries to balance the contraction in mining. Shoes came in 1952. They need 600 workers, many of them girls, which fits in with the older industry. Building, the making of prefabricated buildings, engineering, wagon repairs, employ a thousand more. There has been printing and paper bag making here since before the war. Now, Norton Bradstock is becoming the home of the biggest printers in Europe. Their newest factory, soon to be three times as big, dwarfs Norton Hill Colliery. More people work for that one firm that are now working in mining. We have five collieries in the group, employing 1,500 men, which is half the pits and half the manpower, producing the same coal as was produced at vesting date, that is 600,000 tons a year. What's more, the market is assured. Portishead Power Station would take twice as much if we could produce it. We've done this against all the odds by mechanizing the coal faces with ploughs and powered supports, by improved transport, and such twists as re-equipping an old shaft, which was luckily a wide one, a mile from New York Colliery, 
and turning it into the principal shaft for that quarry. But we haven't lost our quiet farmyard atmosphere. The lamp room still occupies only part of the barn. The farm makes use of the rest, yet the coal keeps coming. In fact, for its size, the Somerset coal field is the most highly mechanized group in Britain. 90% of the coal being cut and loaded by machinery. We are modernizing other things too. The old miners' rows, for example. Many of these are occupied by retired miners. We put in new cookers and water heating systems and have found space under the stairs for a bathroom. We are still planting old tips with trees. And we are being a bit more constructive about new ones. All the dirt from the five collieries is now filling up one valley. Soon, well one day, you'll be able to walk across here to Norton Hill. Both the Norton Radstock area and the collieries in it refuse to die. This double success is something of an embarrassment to the group. How, in a boom area, can it maintain its manpower for coal? For five pits and 1,500 men is something like the lowest optimum size at which it can function efficiently. And with so many good jobs to go to, why choose mining? One answer is to bring in men from the declining coal fields. Already the first batches are here from Durham, skilled men, some of whom have worked in mechanized places for longer than the Somerset men and whose experience can be useful. There are problems, of course. We try to fit them into council houses. In fact, we have an additional allocation of 125 houses for them. But we cannot house them fast enough. One quick solution is temporary prefabricated chalets. They are brought in by road in halves and bolted together on the site. But it is only a temporary measure. Incomers should not find the district dull. There is every kind of activity, something like 75 to 100 local organizations. But it is strange to them, because there is no longer a tight mining community. But miners intermingled house by house and street by street with people working in all manner of jobs. In fact, by the efforts of these mining and ex-mining people, a well-balanced community has grown up in what was once a mining-only district. Exactly the type of thing we say should happen in the districts of the Northeast. Well, I like it very much living here. I don't think there's any difference. I like the people down here. They're very sociable. And I like the place. And in any case, I think there's more opportunity here for the children. We have a son leaving school in August, and there's more work here for them. Where up in Durham, there's no work at all for kiddies leaving school. And I think we'll settle down here very nicely. The challenge is there to the coal board, to the Somerset miners, to the incomers. Judging by what has happened so far, they'll win this round too. And they'll play their part in the future of this booming area of northeast Somerset. <laughs>